And now former New Mexico District Attorney landed herself in trouble again. And once again, she's accused of driving recklessly and putting others in danger. But this time she was arrested. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live in the studio with deputy video. Rachel. Dean, Grant County Sheriff's deputies say former District Attorney Francesca Estevez weaved into the wrong lane this morning and almost hit cars right in front of deputies. The sheriff says when they stopped her, she pulled over in the middle of the road and they suspected she was impaired. Boy, this is the first time I've ever been arrested. But it's at least the second time the former Grant County District Attorney, right. Francesca Estevez, crossed paths with law enforcement about her erratic driving. There was a couple vehicles that uh, the driver at the time almost hit. This morning, the sheriff says they got a call about a reckless driver heading into Silver City. Lapel video shows deputies speaking with Estevez after pulling her over. I was observing your driving, Francesca. As we were coming right here, you swerved into the oncoming traffic lane, almost hitting another vehicle right now. And then when I pulled you over, you ran on top of the sidewalk right up here, and you almost hit the traffic light right there. Okay? The sheriff says his deputies suspected she was impaired. I'm going to ask you if you're willing to do some of our standard field sobriety tests. Are you kidding me? And according to deputies, she didn't do too well on the sobriety test, almost stumbling over during one test. Seven. Seven. I'm sorry. She claimed she hadn't had anything to drink, but told deputies she took pills last night and this morning. She was arrested and booked into jail. You might remember in 2016, witness video captured Estevez's state-owned car weaving all over the highway. Oh, Silver City Police body cameras showed officers talking about how they thought she might have been impaired. What do you think? She's loaded. She almost fell up. But she wasn't given a sobriety test and wasn't arrested. The attorney general charged her a year later with ethics and driving charges. It is disappointing. The Grant County Sheriff says in this most recent incident, she refused to take a blood test. Her ninth step walk and turn. That's all that. She couldn't maintain her balance, couldn't maintain the line. So far, Estevez has been charged with one count of aggravated driving under the influence. She served two terms as DA before leaving office. Back to you. All right, Rachel, thank you. As for that 2016 case, she pleaded guilty and was sentenced to a year of unsupervised probation.